Welcome back to the pipeline. About a year ago, there were some people who really have absolutely no expertise in the field of medicine or medicine research, started raising a big hullabaloo about an FDA-approved medication called Antropophil. Well, we've got someone who does have some expertise, a spokesman from the manufacturer of the drug, Misonicorp. Mr. Doug Brown, welcome to the pipeline. Glad to be here, Piper. So there's been a lot of arm ringing and arm waving and hand ringing about Antropophil. Apparently, there's an online group on my thread called Only Now Existing. Some blogger there who's nicknamed the drug the Suicide Solution. <laughs> Catchy name, huh? Well, it's got the attention of John Busby, the US representative in Missouri. And he is investigating the allegations that the drug was rushed through the FDA approval with what he calls favoritism and pocket lining. Which is ironic because between this one movement you mentioned and Mr. Busby, this drug has probably undergone more scrutiny than any drug in recent memory. Add to that the now freshman senator from California, Calvin Ryder, who is jumping on the drug bashing bandwagon to get himself some more free press. Mr. Ryder is really making quite a name for himself. He's been the champion for criminals and drug users before, so this is nothing new for him. But Doug, you're the real expert, so now let's get to the source of this. Well, okay. Well, I just have to say that uh, I have my sheet of talking points that they sent me with right here. But uh, I don't need these. That's fantastic. Excellent. That's how we do it on In the Pipeline. We shoot straight from the hip. We keep it real right here. Well, uh, I'm here to say that Antropophil is perfectly fine, safe as a sugar pill, no problem with it whatsoever, and that everybody out there should just stop asking questions, shut the hell up, and take their daily doses prescribed. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding what you're saying here. You're not understanding what I'm saying? Well, I'm a paid spokesman for the drug, and they sent me here to promote the drug. What do you think I'm going to say? I work for the company. Do you know what I do at Masonic Corp, Piper? I'm an assistant to one of the junior pencil pushers in the PR department. Do you know why they sent me here to talk about this drug on your sensationalistic show here? Because I was next. I was up. That's the expertise that I bring. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick break right here. And when we come back, we're going to talk to You just took a break. You just came back from a break. Why would you try to control the truth like that? Are you trying to get me to not speak because I'm off the script? Look, I thought we were keeping it real, right? Why don't you let me speak? Is Antropophil dangerous, right? Is that the question? Of course it is. What do you think? There's people dying nationwide from this drug. And I'm not going to come here and, and say that it's good for you just so that I can make a few bucks and, and protect this corporation. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. Th this drug is a cocktail of chemical synthetics cooked up in a lab with some blue dye added to it to make it look like candy. It's similar to how they make meth. I, this has got to be a joke. It I'm is serious. a joke, okay? And here's how it ends. I'm going to leave here, and I'm going to be discredited and fired for some contrived reason when we all know it's because of what I'm saying here on this interview. And then I'll file a lawsuit for wrongful termination, and it'll be settled out of court for some hefty lump sum, and I'll have to sign confidentiality papers about it. And, I mean... Look, this drug is an antidepressant that is so dysfunctional that it's caused some people to actually kill themselves. Like, George Orwell wouldn't believe this. Wake up, America. You see, the illusion, this illusion has become a reality. And the more real it becomes, the more desperately they want it. People, you are being lied to. I think we can cut now. Yeah, we can cut. <laughs>